Welcome to another episode of Project Renegade. In this episode, we're going to put together all this new suspension. Like I said, today we're going to be putting all of this suspension back together into Project Renegade. I want to thank Detroit Axle for making this video possible. They're the ones that supplied all the suspension parts for this build. If you didn't catch last episode, make sure to go back and check that one out so you can catch up. Uh, in that episode, we pulled out all of the old suspension and cleaned everything up and painted everything that we kept. Uh, we also did the pinch weld mod, which is just taking a hammer and folding over the pinch weld. Uh, the only parts that we kept were the calipers and the axles. I'm going to take a minute here off camera to assemble some of the smaller stuff and then uh, we'll get to work. And right there is where the camera died. So um, yeah, uh, I've got some footage from the other camera that I had mounted up really high. I kept working, I didn't even notice that the other camera had went dead. I just had so much to do, I was just you know going from one thing to the next to the next and not really paying attention to the cameras. So sorry about that guys. Um, the other camera, uh, I'll put in some footage here. You can see that it's mounted up really high so you can't really see anything that I'm doing. So we got the spacer above the strut. Um, the front end was pretty difficult to do, but we got that. We got the new strut. We've got the new upper control arm. We've got new sway bar bushings. You can see in there. We've got new inner tie rods with uh, the boots, new outer tie rods, new lower control arm, new lower ball joints, um, new caliper hardware, new hub bearings, new pads, new rotors. Um, I imagine there's some stuff that I'm forgetting. And again, uh, you know, not to keep repeating myself, but a big thanks to Detroit Axle for all of the suspension. As for the results of the lift kit, we got two and a half inches in the back. Uh, it was only supposed to be two, but then again, we replaced the rear coils. And uh, I think that's what got us that little bit extra. Uh, again, in the front, it was only supposed to be two inches, but we actually got two and three quarters in the front. Um, and I think that's because of new struts and stuff like that, because all the suspension and stuff was pretty worn out on Project Renegade. As I said before, I did do the pinch weld modification, but if you notice uh, in the plastic liner, I haven't done anything to that yet. I'm going to wait until I actually mount the tires to see if uh, I even need to, because uh, it looks like I might have enough clearance, but then again, you know, I, I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. I figured I'd give you a little bonus here since I uh, messed up and didn't pay attention to the battery life of my cameras. Here's a little sneak peek of uh, the tread pattern of the new tires. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Sorry guys that uh, you, know, you didn't get to see 
every little detail. Um, I mean, well, if I was to do every little detail, it would have been a really, really long video, but unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention, and uh, the camera that actually had everything in frame died, uh, and then the other camera that kept rolling couldn't really give you a view of anything, uh, so you kind of got a little bit of it here and there, so that's pretty much all I could do, but yeah, uh, anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for this episode, so if you came across this and you're not one of my subscribers, make sure to go into my channel and check out a couple videos. You can go in there and catch up on all of the build videos on Project Renegade, which is this Jeep here. Um, there's been a lot more than just this lift and suspension. There's been body work, all kinds of other stuff done to it in previous videos. There's another Project Jeep. Uh, it's a 2015 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, there's been all kinds of videos done on that. There's how-to videos, uh, you know, just all kinds of install videos, a whole bunch of different stuff. So uh, yeah, make sure to go check that out. And if you find a video that you like, make sure to leave a like. If you have something to say, uh, make sure to leave a comment. And if you find a couple videos that you like, make sure to subscribe to my channel.